Hello, this is R-I-C-K-Y, the YouTube tech guy. Hey guys, so today we're gonna to be showing you how to transfer over everything from your iPhone 10 to your new Galaxy S9. Now, to do this, the best time to do it is when your phone first starts up. When this phone first turns on, it's going to actually ask you do you want to transfer over th everything from your old device? That is the point you should do this. If you do this as I have it where it's already started up, the time will definitely increase almost double. If it would have been 40 minutes with the phone on already, instead of the startup point, the startup point would be about 20 minutes on average. So just to give you a rough idea of how long it will take. Now, what to do is grab this little adapter that came inside your Galaxy S9 box, and you're going to plug that into the bottom of your Galaxy S9. And on the other side, you're going to use your lightning cable from your iPhone 10. So once you have that, you're just going to plug the lightning part into the iPhone, and then plug the USB part into the Samsung. Now it might ask you uh, smart switch, yes or no, and uh, that's what you would need to push uh, if you're doing it after the phone's been started. If it's not, then it'll just automatically do this. However, your iPhone might ask, do you trust this computer? Because it sees this Samsung as a computer. So you will hit trust there and then it'll start transferring over everything. Uh, this isn't the first time I've connected these two, so that's why it didn't ask it this time. Now it will begin to scan your iPhone. This one has less than a gig because we scrubbed it recently. Uh, so it shouldn't have too much storage in there. But as you can see, it's scanning uh, the entire phone. Now, again, it depends on how much storage you have on there. If you have about 64 gigs, you might be a little less than half an hour. Uh, again, if you do it from the beginning, it could even go quicker. But just to give you an idea of the time frame. Uh, if you have a 128, yes, you might be closer to an hour. Again, just depending on how much you have and what you have. Now, this will basically transfer over everything from your photos, your uh, videos you've recorded, your calendar, your Wi-Fi connections, everything will transfer over. The one thing you do want to know is that you do want to sign up for something called Movies Anywhere if you haven't already. What that does is it takes every movie you've purchased from iTunes and it brings it over to Google Play Movies. That's a really big thing, so it takes over almost all the movies you've ever purchased onto your new phone as well. Now, the big reason why I say almost all of them, it's because it depends on the uh, motion picture studio on which ones transfer over. So keep that in mind. I think with Lionsgate, a few of them aren't available, but your big ones, Disney, WB, all those are available, so should help. All right, as you can see here, it's only about a gig and a gig will take about a minute. So not too long of a transfer with that, but just to give you an idea of how long it can take. All right, guys, hopefully you found this helpful. If you did, please give a like, thumbs up down below. And if you wanna see more things on how to move everything over to your new Samsung phone, including hidden features for it, make sure to subscribe. Thank you as always for watching. This has been R-I-C-K-Y, the YouTube tech guy. Thank you for watching our video. If you liked it, why don't you go ahead and subscribe up there. Make sure you follow us on social media right here. And of course, check out our latest video up there. And right down here, you're gonna find the perfect video for you. Or at least that's what YouTube tells me. Thanks again.